Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you here. Do keep in mind it's a general, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. It's always best to take what speaks to you and leave the rest. I do offer private readings though, so if you're interested, you can always find a link to um, my booking page in the description box below every video. Okay, here we go. I'm pulling from Cosmic Journey Oracle to activate the reading. You get card 29, uh, which is an 11. I love that. And it says to be enlightened, lighten up. Yes. And the banana peels, right? <laughs> little slapstick humor lighten up it's a great time of year for that gemini season for me always has a flavor of yeah there's gemini always has a flavor of um silliness and playfulness and um you know cotton candy rainbows butterflies lollipops you know so nice message all right what i'm going to do is pull the twin flame soulmate spread i will give you my general impressions we'll get details from the clarifiers so we're opening here with your connection and the three of wands is a it's a card of manifestation it's something that you've set in motion in this connection that may be arriving or that is being anticipated wow okay Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so, and remember the energies can come through reverse. That's not a problem. Uh, the seven of wands is your present experience here. I feel like you're um, resisting something and it could be because it, I'm jumping around a little bit because in your karmic challenge, there may be some energies around deception or perception of betrayal and so therefore you may be self-protective and that's where things stand for you your person on the other hand is open to or desirous of new beginnings after some kind of offloading of negative karma or something that's been um a real burden that's been their challenge and it feels like the, the way that they have to process their karmic challenge of things being so heavy and difficult is to embrace the up-leveling a, a new beginning, um, commit to something here. Wow. And the opportunity is the Queen of Swords possibly getting to the heart of the matter, um, landing somewhere where there's... A, uh, a dialogue the queen the queens aren't really the communicators pages are the messengers but the queens to me is where um it's cardinal energy it's where things uh pop off like it's the it's the jumping off point and the queen of swords is on a mission a, a search for truth and for understanding and most decks she's got her hand outstretched which is coming with good intentions and no hidden agendas in this deck she's surrounded by roses so it's that you know the sword is pretty freaking sharp but it's being used to cut through the bs and to get at the truth of the situation and that is your opportunity and then divine guidance is divine guidance is within so you got to trust your inner knowing. You have to trust your instincts and your intuition in the situation. What you can't see that's unfolding here is something that might be um, better left unsaid. Right there. Sometimes with the um, high priestess, she doesn't talk. There's no... Right? There's either no communication, there could be some separation. In this case, I just feel like there are certain things that you might be trying to get to the bottom of, get to the core of, um, and then there are other things that are better left unsaid. So uh, it's an interesting message. 
I may need, to, may need to adjust it as we clarify, but let's see where we go from here. Three of Wands. Wow. High Priestess again. Um, with the Seven of Cups on the Three of Wands, I'm feeling like there have been so many options, so many um things to process on an emotional level i feel like there's anticipation of some sort of offer from the heart that heretofore has not been shared so the high priestess again comes back uh, the high priestess is associated with the moon although i see her as pisces energy um it's still talking about the hidden realms um, the things we have to take on faith and that we know that the answers are there within us. So I am feeling I, I'm probably not going to make the exact connection until I get to the divine guidance. But that high priestess is now in unconscious awareness and conscious awareness. And so therefore may be the key. Let's see for you. Seven of Wands. Death card, King of Cups. Now we have the um, King and the and the Knight and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so Aquarius, if you are dealing with a Capricorn or if you have Capricorn in some significant place in your chart, meaning planets or points, um, you're going to want to watch that Capricorn reading. A lot of the same uh, energies coming through. And I'm feeling like what I saw there, I'm seeing here in terms of, well, what does this person feel, right? Because if something doesn't change, I got to go. I'm now feeling like I need to protect myself. I don't know how this person feels. The King of Cups notoriously struggles with communicating feelings, but not for the lack of having them. But I guess sometimes that doesn't help to have to have feelings that are go unexpressed. Really freaking confusing. Lots of mixed messages. But I do feel like this offer from the heart is getting nearer. So let's see your person, their present energy here with you is the ace of pentacles which was also on the same queen of swords wow page of swords page of pentacles uh, yeah they know you have some unanswered questions um page of swords almost as if they're not wanting to tell you. Look at his back is to her. Not wanting to tell you. And instead just sort of baby stepping their way forward into some form of either a new beginning here or an up leveling of the connection and offer something tangible. Wow. So let's see your karmic challenge with the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords, Devil, right. Two of Wands. Two of Wands was in the Capricorn meeting, and this is Capricorn right here. So for those of you with who's, who are either dealing with a Capricorn, are a Capricorn, or have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, you're getting lots of extra confirmation around that um and i feel as if part of your karmic challenge is there you don't trust this person's intentions um, and it could be because they hold back they don't share how they feel there are things that are not being said or that you may even feel are being kept secret and so the challenge for you is how do I figure out my path forward here if I'm stuck? If I'm in this state, this state of mind where I'm overthinking every little thing, I'm questioning every little thing, I, I am not trusting my own ability to 
you know, to have good judgment in this situation, to size things up accurately. Uh, I'm second guessing myself. I'm full of self doubt. I have self limiting beliefs, yada, yada, yada. And it's difficult to say, okay, here's what I need to set in motion. And remember, we're opening here with three of wands. So that means a decision, a choice has to be made especially with regard to what you want going forward so that it arrives. And I feel like that's what the hang up is. So your karmic challenge is to work through the fact that you feel like a deer in the headlights, right? Like frozen because you're, you're not sure of this person's intentions that they're either being honest with you or, um, right. That some form of, perceived challenge around trusting intentions based on the fact that you can't get anything out of this person. Okay. Ten of Wands for them. Hermit. The only way out is through for this person also. Yes, Justice and Six of Cups. Wow. I feel like there's a, a very heavy burden that this person is carrying by themselves. It's, it's not that you may not, I mean, you may not know about it, but for those of you who do that say, yeah, no, I know this person is really struggling with an ex or, you know, with work or with, you know, something, it could be any number of things. But if you know that this person has a struggle, right? They're not talking to you about it because they're really um, trying to sort of use it as a tool for personal growth. It is a solitary journey. And whatever it is that they're dealing with and um, reconciling for themselves, right? This heavy burden that needs to kind of be offloaded. Justice. It's looking at the fairness in things, right? It is looking at balance and harmony, but to me, this justice card is coming in as what's fair to you? what's fair to this person that I do care about. They do care about you. There is a very lovely bond here. Um, even we got past life soulmate energy in the six of cups. I always feel that here, but and I am doing a twin flame soulmate reading, so that makes sense. But there's something really weighing on this person where they're telling themselves it's not fair to you. Something isn't fair. And so they're kind of carrying a burden and that is their karmic challenge because they need to offload that. Unburden themselves, tell you the truth, queen of swords. But they're not, they're not ready to. They're getting there, Page of Pentacles, but not, not ready to at this moment. Queen of Swords is the opportunity. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Magician. Yes, manifesting that, that moment um, where the two of you, Nine of Wands to me is perseverance, not and not for nothing, it's a struggle. It's exhausting if you're trying to get at a truth and, and it's not being revealed or communicated. Um, feelings even. I just feel like you're trying to manifest some kind of exchange that feels a little less um, emotionally laden, right? Like the Queen of Swords takes a more practical approach. She's level-headed cool as a cucumber, you know, checks the emotions at the door. And I have a feeling there's something here that is just brewing. Um, and it's, oh, it's becoming like the Indiana Jones boulder bearing down on this person. So that's being sort of blown out of proportion. And the opportunity is to just, you know, um, approach it very methodically, very like with, 
just the facts man kind of an approach and i feel like there are a, there's a lot of water under the bridge a lot of regrets here um a sense that something might be slipping away and so you got to manifest this opportunity the magician is basically not just manifestation it's saying you have everything you need to pull this off you have everything you need um, as this opportunity to, to clear up any misunderstandings or what hasn't been spoken to or about, you know, what hasn't been shared with you, don't give up. Because you have everything you need to make sure that there's, there are no regrets going forward. The High Priestess is Divine Guidance. We're definitely talking about choosing this connection, um, reconciling any differences, a cause for celebration and some form of commitment. I am definitely talking to an Aquarian Capricornian vibe here. That These readings are practically identical. Um, in theme and a lot of the same cards with the exception notably of um, the high priestess here is sort of giving it extra flavor as is this queen of swords so if I just boilerplate it down to those two what I'm seeing in this reading that feels um, pretty clear to me is that the queen of swords is going to cut through the veil of the high priestess to what isn't being revealed to what isn't being spoken to that needs to be known and shared i do feel there are regrets here um and that this clarity this open dialogue this um, moment where we have nothing to hide we you know and it's like i'm not i'm not coming to pass judgment queen of swords doesn't pass judgment <coughs> she's just like let's just cut to the chase bullet point this conversation to make it less emotionally challenging for this person and i do feel it has to do with taking the next step in this connection with an, an offer uh, of love, of commitment, of taking things to the next level, of choosing the beauty of this connection of one's free will, despite some internal challenges. I know. It is actually um, a pretty interesting reading, and I am feeling like there's something's about to blow. And I don't mean that in a tower way. I mean it in an ace of swords, like a, how could I not see this? How could I not know this? Um, that could put a pretty bow on all of this challenging energy. I feel like it's at a a breaking point but not really a breakdown kind of more of a breaking through point so i mean it in a good way oh my goodness okay so um that is this part of the reading i'm going to go on to the extended and there are links in the description box below to that uh if this reading is resonating for you so far please by all means join us here more regularly by subscribing below click that notification bell um, like or share as you feel called to do and um, the links to the extended I say links because there are a couple of them so click it read about what you know what you're investing in um, yeah I'm gonna see what's going on with this person behind the scenes that they would rather you not know or that is their little secret I don't know there's something here that's not being revealed and what I want to do that they're leading with the ace of pentacles so we know that that's 
an offer, a big ass offer and possibly commitment minded or maybe a new beginning if, if that's warranted in this connection. Um, but I want to see what they're processing. How do they, how do you fit into the whole equation, right? How do they see you or think about you? What are their intentions? What are the hidden energies? Meaning what's going on behind the scenes here that you can't see, but that might be helpful to know. And then what message do they have for you? So that's what I'm going to do in the extended. Uh, but right here we have Knight of Cups, Pisces. High Priestess is out twice. That's the moon. I associate her with Pisces. The death card is Scorpio, King of Cups, Scorpio. Queen of Swords is out twice. That's Libra, Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Devil, Capricorn. Hermit, Virgo, Justice, Libra, Magician, Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Hierophant is Taurus and the Lovers is Gemini. Really interesting reading, guys. All right, I'm headed to the extended. I will see you there. Bye for now.